This is one of several Turkish academics who left Turkey for Berlin in recent years over their opposition to the government's policies. She asked for her identity and voice to be hidden because she feared repercussions from authorities. This feeling, a kind of loss. Even if you can visit it, there are so many things you give up before you decide to leave the country and make a fresh start. And this is something you carry, always. The country is now getting ready for national elections in May. They are expected to be the opposition's best chance at winning since Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan came to power 20 years ago. The number of Turkish refugees in Germany has drastically increased since 2016 when there was a failed coup attempt in Turkey. Germany's interior ministry told Euronews that more than 21,000 Turkish nationals have received asylum or refugee status in the years since. That's when human rights organizations say there was a crackdown on critical voices in Turkey. Germany was already home to an estimated 3 million people in the Turkish diaspora. One professor specializing in human rights in Turkey says he expects the flow of political dissidents to stop if Erdogan loses. Because establishing rule of law will take some time, but even after the rule of law is established, if people have court cases and verdicts about themselves, they will not turn back immediately. Some who left say a return or visit after an opposition win would be a relief. I hope we will have the joy back, the joy of living, of being part of a community, being proud of the country, sticking together, dreaming about a common future and having this feeling of security back. The situation is more complicated for those who have received asylum. The German Interior Ministry says they may lose their status if they return to Turkey.